guys so today i'm gonna be doing a little story time about the jingle ball in new york city which was like a month ago basically how i snuck into second row on the floor how i met conan gray and louis partridge and how i ended up on olivia's youtube channel so yeah so basically how it all started was i bought a ticket in the 100 sections for on the side of the stage so it was an obstructed view and I was fine with that, but I knew I wanted to try to sneak onto floor. So before the concert, I made a fake screen recording of a random floor ticket and hoped it worked. So when I got to Madison Square Garden, I found my seat and I'll show you the view now. Guys, okay, look at my seat. You can see backstage and then the stage is right there. Oh. Um, it wasn't a bad view, but I knew I could do better. So basically I went to the floor and show the security guard my fake screen recording and they let me in and then i just went in and sat at like a random row with an uh, open seat because a bunch of the front rows were taken up from iheart radio workers who didn't have like an assigned seat but they basically had like a badge that let them just go on the floor and like sit whatever open seat was so i just sat at a random one and for the first like hour it was like less popular artists so not a lot of people were there yet so i got to stay in my seat but then a lot more people started showing up as the night went on so obviously someone came and was in the seat i was in so i had to move and basically i just kept moving between seats but then when the more popular artists started to come on like sabrina and sizza and all of them I didn't have a seat. So what I did is I was sitting in, there was three sections of the floor. There was row of seats here, an aisle, another row of seats, an aisle, and another row of seats. So basically by when Sabrina came on, which I'll show you videos now. on i stood in the aisle at the very front so there was like a front row was blocked off you couldn't get up there but you could stand right behind it in the aisle so i stood there i was the only one there for a good 20 minutes and there was a security guard right in front of me he didn't say anything so basically i just stood there but then people started realizing you could do that so there was like at least 20 people standing behind me it was basically like the second row, the middle rows of people, the barricade was here and the stage was right here. I was between the second and third row, right next to the front row. So basically I was right there next to the front row of the third section. And it was right before Olivia came on. And I looked to my right and I went, oh, that looks a lot like Conan Gray. But I'm like, mm, probably not him. I'm not gonna disturb him if it is. Like I'm not gonna cause a huge scene if it's not him. So I turn back around and then I hear Conan and I turn and I see girls talking to him and like taking a photo. So I'm like, oh my God, that is Conan Gray. And I look over and I see Louis Partridge is there too. And I was like, oh my God, they were literally, I'm not even joking. It was me, a little like tape barrier and him. Literally like me and him right next to each other. Like I could reach out and touch him easily. But Olivia was like about about to come on. So I just looked over and like smiled at him. I didn't want to like, I didn't want to be that girl that like when your fr their friend is performing, like to bother them. So basically I just watched Olivia and then during Get Him Back, there was like that part, I want to key his car. I want to make him lunch. I think you guys know what I'm talking about. They have that little dance. So while Olivia was doing that, I turned to Conan and I was like, I know you know this part. And I started doing the dance and he started like da like laughing. And I was like, oh, I love him. I want to play his car. And 
then after the song, I turned back to him because I wanted to wait till after to talk, like after the song to talk to him because I didn't want to do it in the middle. I was just like, "Hi, Conan. I just wanted to say I love your music so much, and it like means the like means so much to me." And he was just so sweet, and we just talked like it was really short, but that was a lot. And then I was just like, "Hi, Louis," and he's like waved back, and I was like, "Oh my god!" And then she sang "Can't Catch Me Now," which was one of the like one of my favorite songs she's ever made it was like i listened to it like five times a day at least and when i thought she was gonna sing it because she sang it in la but i wasn't sure so when she started singing it i was going crazy screaming i knew all the lyrics i knew everything but most people around me were like i heart radio workers or like younger kids so they didn't really know the lyrics during the verses so i was like screaming the verses and then it, during the part like the bitter taste of my fury and all the messes you made i was like pointing right at her and i was like all oh, the messes you made and during that part she looked right at me smiled and pointed back at me Play the bitter taste of my fury and all of the messes you made and that that video i have everyone's saying it was at louis and at first i didn't think it was at me either because i was like all her friends are right like literally like, really like close to me but after it happened a guy in front of me like tapped me and was like oh my god she just pointed at you and even like a girl behind me like was like oh my god she just pointed at you and i like literally was like oh my god and then i started crying right after and i'll insert videos of that right now <laughs> So basically, I'm the one in the white in front of like a guy in a white shirt and my hand is pointed at the end of the yellow line and you can see she's like pointing right at me. It's kind of hard to see, but if you look closely, you can see my hand is raised that connects with the yellow line. So to everyone saying it was at Louis, it was at me. And here's another video I found on Twitter. Um, I don't know if you can see me, but I'm in like a white shirt and I'm right next to like Louie and Conan on their left. And you can see me like pointing at her basically. So yeah, basically for that, like for like the three fourths of the concert, I was standing, of Olivia said, I was standing right next to Conan and Louie. But then towards the end, a lot of people started leaving because they wanted to beat the traffic. So like all of the second row, like in the actual seats because i wasn't in a seat i was just in the aisle started leaving so i was like okay i'm gonna go take their seat so that's when i left my little place right next to them and ran over and stood like in the middle of the stage on in the second row and i was there for like two songs um i'll insert some videos <laughs> yeah and then after a couple songs she left and i wanted to go talk to conan and louie but they already left by the time i could get back over there so i couldn't say bye to them but i already talked to them once so i was like that's more than enough and i saw olivia who is one of my favorite artists who i've never seen before and yeah so that's the story time of msg jingle ball and then last night I was on YouTube and I see, oh, Olivia posted Can't Catch Me Now from the New York Jingle Ball. I'm going to watch it because I was there, right? I was watching. Suddenly, my face, clear, single shot of me, pops up on the screen. I'll, I'll put it right here. I was literally like, what is happening right now? It was crazy. But I was just like, shocked that she probably watched that video and saw me and now hundreds thousands of people saw me screaming like okay but basically i just want to post this video because no one believes me that olivia was pointing at me and not louie because in my video it looks like she's looking like to someone next to me but it was just because i had my phone like out here 
so obviously the phone is gonna make it look like it's not looking at the phone because it was looking at me but i found videos from other people where it shows that she was pointing at me so yeah um one of the best nights of my life i think and nothing will ever beat that um thanks for watching and next time i go to a concert hopefully i'm gonna vlog because i always forget to vlog but i will try